So you're probably wondering, how can a woman seem to always have her pick from some of the highest caliber men, yet constantly never get labeled some of the modern day derogatory terms like ran through, pass around, thought? You see, her name is Harvey, Lori Harvey. And now from a physical standpoint, this woman clearly passes most of the tests that any gentleman will ever have. She's a woman that clearly takes care of her body and has revealed to the masses that she consumes around 1,200 calories a day and has a very, very strict regimen of Pilates and cardio. So what I would do was, I was in a calorie deficit. I think I maybe was consuming like 1,200 calories in a day max. So all y'all queens out there that believe you can achieve these looks from crab legs, wings, hookah, yeah, y'all girls might want to reconsider. Now you must be wondering, how did she manage to acquire so much fame in such a minuscule amount of time? Like, that just doesn't make any sense. We can't just instantly give credit to her stepfather, Steve Harvey, seeing as he has seven kids and none of them have came close to her notoriety. See, this is where the power of hip-hop culture shows how dominant it is when it comes to shaping the views of pop culture. You see, the man responsible for all of this is Drake. Drake? Now, 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 I know what you may be thinking is, wait, what? Huh? This makes absolutely no sense. What did Drake ever do to this girl to give her so much notoriety? See, this is when you get into the power of the quickest way to a hit record in the hip-hop industry. This is known as the Drake Stimulus Package. This puts the $1,200 stimulus checks that were being passed around during COVID-19 to shame. This package is known for bringing artists who were nobodies to the spotlight and bringing artists whose careers had been killed off right back to life. This consists of Drake giving you the verse, the hook, and the video, which he's even coined the term Drake featuring Drake, back on the hit song 5AM in Toronto. You see, in 2018, Meek Mill and Drake finally put their three-year-long old feud to rest and decided to come together to create a song called Going Bad. You see, this song has achieved over 160 million views on YouTube and over 980 million plays on Spotify. It's peaked at number six on the Billboard charts and is now certified five times platinum. Not only is this the biggest song on his album, it's also Meek Mill's most streamed song ever throughout his whole entire catalog. And the chances of him topping the song bigger than this one is really slim to none. Not to mention, it doesn't help that he kind of shoots himself in the foot when it comes to the tweets he puts out on Twitter, but that's a whole nother story. This song has more streams than the rest of the album does combined. Now on this track, Meek Mill has a line where he says that he has Lori Harvey on his wish list, and that's all he wants for Christmas. Now, the line itself is fine, but it's the song that he chose to have that line on, and that's what the problem is. You see, if Meek had said this line on another song, there's no way her profile ascends as quickly as it did, just due to the fact that less people would have heard it. I mean, Drake knows the power of name dropping woman when he's on a song. He mentioned a girl named Courtney from the song From Time, and she instantly started getting club bookings the same week. Had he just told Meek, let's not name drop any ladies on our first track back together, who knows where Lori Harvey would be today. Now with all of this, you must be wondering, how did she avoid being called ran through by the industry? This is what you call the power of silence. You see, Lori Harvey does an amazing, amazing job of avoiding giving her thoughts and opinions on any single topic. She's never gone on Instagram live and she has a total of eight tweets over the span of seven years. By doing this, she ensures that she's always seemed in a very presentable manner and well pampered at all times. You're not gonna catch her on Instagram live at 1.30 a.m responding to the trolls in the comments while drinking a bottle of Casamigos. I was in the street selling crack! It's just a recipe for disaster and she knows this. You see, this strategy that she's using works very well for musical artists and also actors and actresses. See, there was a viral clip going around of The Weeknd talking backstage and everybody was absolutely shocked that that's what he sounds like. We all know how talented The Weeknd is when it comes to making music and creating hit records, but a lot of his success is due to the fact that he just doesn't talk. Right now, he's the most streamed artist in the United States at over 90 million monthly Spotify listeners. 
Do you honestly believe he would have the same amount of success if he was tweeting 50 times a day and on Instagram live every week? The answer is no. It's just too much opportunities for you to say something that will get you canceled and lose a bunch of fans. Ask the rapper the baby. He knows all about this. He slipped up and he's been struggling to regain his career that he once had regardless of how many tracks he puts out. The fans in the industry, they're just so unforgiving. When you look at someone like Jada Chivas or Aisha Curry, these two were seen as the quintessential woman to their man. But over time, the more both of them spoke out and expressed their opinions, they quickly became disliked and put off by so many. That's why when their name gets brought up, people instantly have a take and a reason to have some sort of animosity towards them. The complete opposite is LeBron's wife, Savannah. The reason why she is liked by so many, because in his 20 year career, she hasn't said anything. Majority of people don't even know what she even sounds like. When it comes to Lori Harvey, there's absolutely nothing. You have no reason to hate her because she said absolutely nothing. The only way another man can hate on Lori Harvey is because they don't have her. So as long as she continues this path of being so low key, she will always be able to skate by Regardless if she's ducking too late in one relationship. You duck too late. I see you. I like that. It's cute. Cute. Keep it up. And springboard into the next.